The Army and our people are facing many challenges during this crisis. Uh, nous avons entendu uh, vos préoccupations et les impacts de cette situation. Sir, so talking about the, uh, the challenges we're, we're facing, there are some, some really critical restrictions that we are placing on our personnel. And these restrictions affect every one of our soldiers. So I know that a lot of our members have concerns about the APS, about house, house hunting trips, about compensation for cancelled leave. Can you fill us in or, or expand on any of these, these issues? Yes, Sergeant Major, that's a great question. Uh, for the posting season, you know, I think many of you will agree with me um, that there, is, there are a few things in the military that are more stressful than, than moving a family with a posting. You know, I myself have gone through many moves over the, over the last decades, and I can certainly attest to that. And so for those of you affected, uh, and, and you know this, we've put the posting season on hold for now as we take a look at the posting plot. Uh, in fact, in the Army, we're taking a, a wire brush to the posting plot to make sure every single posting is, is necessary. Necessary in terms of um, operational requirement, institutional requirement, uh, career progression, and, and family needs. Um, in the meantime, house hunting trips have been delayed, but we hope to get an answer out over the course of the next week or, or two to let you know if your posting is still on or not. Um, you know, other things like changes of command, um, that, that has come up. So there will be no change of command parades this summer. And I know many troops will be disappointed uh, that they won't be marching around the parade square. And so further direction on how those ceremonies will be conducted uh, will be coming out shortly. Uh, there are financial implications out there I know many of you are worried about. Uh, Military Personnel Command has issued a number of, of can for gens that detail the uh, pro procedures to be followed to claim for certain things. And if you have questions about those, you know, please go through your chain of command and your units to get clarification. If any of you are suffering uh, from financial uh, challenges at home, make sure your chain of command is aware uh, so they can put you in touch with the resources that are available out there. So the, the next question I have for you is, is regarding mental health, physical fitness, and psychological resilience. Now these are all critically important things when at, at the best of times. So do you have any advice as to, you know, how do we keep these things going for our service members and their families during the COVID-19 um, event? Uh, notre priorité à ce moment est la préservation de la force uh, afin qu'elle soit prête à répondre aux uh, demandes d'assistance. So force protection, uh, preserving the force, being ready, that is our number one priority right now. Um, so we got to stay healthy. Uh, we got to be ready to do this, ready to uh, ready to respond, and we have to be ready to do this for the long term. Staying physically active while you are uh, physically distanced at home is a challenge, but one that uh, has to be overcome. We no longer have uh, access to our, our gym facilities, uh, so we got to be imaginative. Uh, there's tools out that show you uh, how to use body weight uh, PT, uh, but we have to get, be out there and doing it daily. We have to be mentally engaged. So use this opportunity to work on your, your personal professional development, your professional reading, online courses, uh, just to keep yourself uh, active and don't waste this time. We have to be socially engaged. So reach out and talk to your friends, your family, your peers, uh, your, your coworkers, because that social connection is so important in our mental well-being. Uh, we have the technology, so, so use it. Communicate over communicate and continue to communicate. Uh, if you're having challenges, reach out. And in all, try to maintain a sense of humor. So that's, uh, that's excellent advice. And for those of you that are, that are concerned out there, you know, we do not have all the answers. In my 34 year career, I have never experienced anything like this. The commander has never experienced anything like this. So reach out, check with your chain of command, stay in contact. So in summing all this up, sir, do you have any final messages for the troops? So we don't have a crystal ball that tells us when this is going to end, but we do know we're going to be in it for a long time. And, and to maintain our health, maintain our, our readiness, it's going to take discipline. But the good thing is the Canadian Army is, is known for its discipline. And I view this as analogous to operations in other extreme environments, whether it be the Arctic, the desert, or in an NBC environment where, where that discipline, that attention to detail, uh, that uh, that detailed planning is absolutely essential. 
but that requires vigilance and avoiding complacency as well. But we've got this, and I know you've got this. So avoid complacency. Look after yourselves, look after your family, look after each other, and in all, be ready. Merci beaucoup.